Hi, how are you today? I'm Melissa Francis from Melissa Francis, and I'm very happy to tell you what's new. First of all, I want to go to our thankful line. For those of you that don't know, I was diagnosed with breast cancer in 2007, and um, I created a line called Thankful. Part of the proceeds goes to breastcancer.org. From then, we did breast cancer specific papers because we had a lot of people that uh, unfortunately do have breast cancer. And from then, we had everybody ask us for Walk for the Cure. So now we have some papers that's like, I walk for my mother, I walk for my sister, I walk for my aunt. And uh, here's the papers like, I walk for the cure. And some die cuts also for Walk for the Cure. So we can get you all out there and uh, supporting breast cancer. <laughs> and now I'd like to take you over to our fresh twist. This is our line, which is kind of a Caribbean colors. It's very, very trend forward. Chandeliers, if you uh, take a look around our booth, I'm hoping you'll get a shot. You'll see there's chandeliers all over the booth. They're very big in the chandeliers. Uh, it's also about celebrating a girl. We have great um, stickers here about it's a girl thing and some bling stuff, page kits. Really, really cute ticket book where you can rip, rip things out, no boys allowed. All that kind of girls night out, got a party. <laughs> now I'm going to take you to our Attic Treasures line, which is very popular. It starts off with our Attic Treasures papers. They're really good for collaging. It's very, very neutral papers that you can use. They go along with a lot of our other products. We have these really cute postcard kits. Really vintage kind of looking. Uh, we've got rhinestones and we've got pearls with absolutely adorable um, packaging. It's kind of all kind of Attic Treasures kind of vintage. We have this really, really cute bingo book. And this is, shows you this wonderful sample of what you can do with the bingo book. This is using our fresh twist line. Our number one seller, which uh, we're very excited about, is our tag book. It comes with 10, 10 envelopes, and there's little tags in each envelope. It's a great base to do lots of techniques. We have these really, really cute little boxes called Attic Treasures, and you open them up, and it's got these really cute little flashcards. I don't know if from uh, some of you that are a little bit older, you'll remember the flashcards when we were younger. Uh, the other thing that we have is our alphabet with the graph on it. It's really, really cute. And then I'm going to take you over to the other side of the booth. We follow me. We can look at the chandeliers maybe on the way over. It's all about the bling. <laughs> this is a, some more things from our Attic Treasures line. This is our die cut colonial house. If you look at the packaging, you can see we've done it as a Christmas house. But it's not for Christmas. If you look down here, this is a really, really cute little house for Easter. Now again, back to the bling and the sparkle. We have uh, our tinsel, which is really, really cute. We have it on an absolutely adorable wood spool, so when you're done with it, you can recycle and reuse. Do lots of great craft projects with that. We have our bottle brush trees, and this really, really cute um, kits we have for banners. Banners are really, really hot. So as you look up here, you can see there's a welcome banner. And if you come over here, we'll turn around to the other side of the booth, and we have a really cute celebrate. The last thing I want to show you is down here, well not lastly, but two more things, is our crepe paper. It's the old fashioned kind of really th thick crepe paper. As you can see we've done the beautiful flowers. Uh, we're using actually spell binders, die cuts to do it. And this is the old fashioned mica. We've actually used the pink mica, which is in here. Put a little glue on it. This is the pink mica. And put it on the flower. It gives a completely different look. I'd just like to thank you all for visiting our booth. Happy scrapping.